Good morning, this is Jilly Cube from uh, the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you doing another, um, it's basically a test again. I'm going to um, try and do this flower stroke. I don't know what it's going to turn out like. I think I'll just explain it as we go along. If anybody knows the YouTube channel, I like to have days where I just experiment with products or techniques but I like to film them because then that gives you guys the heads up what not to do or what to do if they turn out pretty good. What I'm using today is is the Montmartre poster paints. So I think in the US they're called tempura paints. I mix them in the same way as I would an acrylic meaning I put my paint in the uh, can container and then I add where is it okay I pre-mix this clear PVA 7030 um, so it's pre-mixed at 70% glue 30% water and I just add it to my paint until it's a particular consistency that I would like for a particular pour my paints I've pre-made up and put them into these squeegee bottles so they're nice and easy to do my thing on them um, so I'm just testing today we've actually putting this piece of kitchen roll over the top seen the lovely ladies do kind of things where they put a, um, a paper towel over the top and oh and this beautiful flower comes up I am just never seem to be able to to get that even though I um, try so I'm going to do my own spin on it and I'm using the poster paints because I find them absolutely great for dips and things like that they're 500 ml bottles and they're usually under seven dollars or around six dollars um, I have the link underneath to these all the products that I'm using so yeah here we go so the poster paints mixed with the pouring medium so it's basically making the poster paints um like a what would you say like a like a, a an acrylic paint because you're adding the pva glue which is in acrylic paint it's the same sort of products in there don't ask me what i'm doing i'm just sort of doing a chevron shapes that I would do if I was doing a dip and I'm just gonna see how they turn out with this crazy idea that I have in my crazy head so here's the that was the nice red and this will be the obviously the green oh, I've not got enough in my bottles oh, I suppose it would help if you actually open the little tap on it to let it come out this may not work at all so it's just um, a test I love to have my camera rolling when I'm doing these tests because I find lots of people learn by my mistakes or they can then say oh now I know the reason why mine wasn't working or why mine worked and yours didn't so <laughs> let me know but so I just let the camera roll for these particular moments when I'm doing my art lab testing. Ooh. I don't think I've got enough paint in there. I've got it open. And if this doesn't turn out when I do the cloth over it, then I'll switch it to do a swipe or balloon kisses so you can usually rescue even the worst disasters so don't give up don't give up okay will I add a bit of gold in there this um, Montmartre 
poster paint in the gold is ooh, a bit delicious too. Didn't actually want to do the shape of a flower, but might do one just for see if it makes any difference if you actually do the shape of a flower. Oh, that's not very special at all. It's not looking. I mean, well, if you watch any of my videos, I have so many comments like, I was absolutely sure that that would turn out just a mess, the colours were, and then, you know, the comments that, no, it turned out really nice. So, there you go. You have to keep watching to just watch the magic happen. Am I being overly optimistic or what here? <laughs> You've got to, you've got to just give it a go. You've got to give things a go. So the odd, odd little shapes. Okay, I've never done this before, and I might not never do it again. But I've just got an absolutely dry piece of um, kitchen roll thing. Ugh, never done it. So, but I'm going to put it up no matter what because of the reason that I'm wondering if I press something on top of that whether it might be better I'm not sure it might just be one almighty mess under there I think you've got to have your paints a certain um, thickness I don't know if it's thin or thick if anyone's out there gives me a heads up I'll gladly try next time I don't know I'm gonna just try it so oh by the way I coated the bottom of my canvas pre 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 coated it Was that okay 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 it's a bit weird but I think nothing that a balloon won't fix let's give it a go give it a go gotta keep going with it it's actually got some nice effects around it but I will just get my balloon I hold it by the belly button, not always, I can, you can do it that way, but I just find you have more control if you hold it by the belly button and just basically press in, pull up. Not much happened in that one, but I'll use that there to repress. Ooh. There you go. Pretty or what? There you go. So I'm going to continue and try again with that particular same, you know, piece of uh, kitchen roll again because it didn't actually give too bad. I think I was just a little light handed with my paints. There's some little cells coming up in this. Maybe give it a little blow with my heat torch. My heat, what? My wonder wand. all I'm gonna do with that. I've got my, I've got a new little teeny tiny water balloon. Actually it looks as though it's leaking. You don't want it to leak because it will dilute your paint. So I'm gonna just push it in the red. Oh yes. So there is nothing that you can't save with a balloon I reckon. There you go. It's delicate and it's fine and it was just a test and just let me know I'll just put it on as a quickie on there for you as a quick video so there you go I'll give you some close-ups after in the um, photos at the end so stay on there for that thank you guys so much for joining me please stay safe we're all in this together and I want you to just feel connected with the art world if you're out there 
uh, watching videos and your favourite artists. We're, we're there for you and hopefully give you some light entertainment um, or, or really inspire you to you know, get some paints. You can order them online. My online supplier that I get my stuff from in Australia, that everything is going perfectly. Uh, I've got big delivery myself today, paints and glues. So it's quite easy for you to start if you haven't already done so. And the links are down below. Okay, and there's also some links down below for um, beginners videos. So if you're just having a look at this and wonder whether you can give it a go, please do so. It's so therapeutic, rewarding and addictive at the same time. So thank you guys for joining me. Until next time, bye for now.